too, piggies. Roasted meat! Can't taste it! The Count Victor of Arles welcomes you all to the yearly fair of St. John. Enjoy goods from our region and beyond at the market. Make deals at our fish auction and try your skills in a free session of a shooting game. Tomorrow's event is the long-awaited cow fair. Get ready to overbid. The Count Victor of Arles wishes you all an excellent St. John's fair. I should check that stand. Our stocks are getting low. This year's fair is even bigger than last year's. I need a new dress. <laughs> a cheap Have one. you seen? What? The people here. They're smiling. Uh, <laughs> it's true. Oh, look up there. The house with the weather vane. That's ours. Oh, right above the market. Yes, the view will be amazing. Rushes and combs from Firenze. Try them. My lady, why not change your hairstyle? Thank you, but I like it like this. Oh, huh? good for you. A woman's hair is her righteous crown. Beautifully said. The hair is nice like that. Well, thank you, sir. Some coins, he's gonna win. Another one. Come on. Sure. Come on. This time. This time. I'm gonna just fight you on. The finest. This wine. A present for your father, maybe. He's dead. But he loved this wine. Uh, well, he was a very oh, fine man then. Stable. He was. Thank you. <laughs> this is some really beautiful furniture here. I had a closet like that in my room. I like to hide in it. <laughs> of course you did. Look at the colours! Just imagine the clothes you can make with this. The most beautiful clothes, you can be sure. Are you interested in flowers? <laughs> I'm interested in too many. Bombs, ointments, shoes, marigolds, oh, primroses. Oh, you know you're a barium. Only flowers. My mummy taught me. We kept them in a book at home. Do you want to buy flowers then? Thank you, but we like to pick them in the wild. It's our thing. I understand. Enjoy. Yes. Come. Let's see the rest. Sure. Just look at these colours. Look at these colours. Gorgeous reds. Fresh yes. fish from Corsica. Caught this morning. Every four crates gets you fifth for free. Come they play. It's free. A gift fish. to our visitors from the Count of Arles. A game? What do you say, lady? You look like a winner. She is. <laughs> All right, so how do we play this? You get four shots to knock down as many cups as you can. Got it? I'm in. Ready? Like the fair back home, Amicia. Easy. Go! <laughs> yes! That was close.
course I did. What did you expect? You're our best player today. And you didn't even use your sling. I think we have to get going. Thank you. Goodbye, sir. Beautiful. Thank you. I make them. Do you know how to play? No, I never took the time to learn. But she's a good shot. <laughs> I could play. I'd love to. One day I'll learn. <laughs> how can you do that? Well, his parents must be dragons. It's like the one we had at home. This one's bigger and warmer. You're looking at the best smithy in the region. He must be sweating so much. <laughs> That's for sure. Let's go see our house. It should be right up here. Oh. We can share my room if you want. Don't you want your own? Hmm, I don't know. But that way we could invite each other to our rooms. Yes, I love this place. <laughs> Me too. Oh, they're playing music. Oh, I can't see. Hey, you know what? I'll put you up on my shoulders, all right? Oh, yes, please. Here we go. <laughs> You're feeling all right up there? Yes, I can see everything. They do know. They just feel safe here. You will too. Hey, I'm going to put you down for a bit. <clears throat> Let's pick up the pace. Yes. I can't wait to see the house. I wonder how big it is. I just hope they have real beds. I hope I can see the market from my room. A king's room, of course. Of course. <laughs> Someone's had a long day. Hey, you're back. So how was it? They've got everything. <laughs> it's true. We'll have to go back all together. Sure. We need some fresh herbs. Look at that. I think we can call it home. Yes. Home. I haven't said that word in a while. I'm glad we came. <sighs> and I think someone needs to take a nap. I'm not tired. <laughs> sure. Let's go see inside. This is our door. Ooh. It looks quiet. And it's less hot here. It's nice. Ready to come inside? Yes, lead the way. We're home, Hugo. Our new home. Let's take a look around. Mm. Yes. All right, we'll do that later. Mother, where's Hugo's room? He's exhausted. Upstairs, the bed is ready. Thanks. 
Come on, you sleepy beast. You must come, Amicia. Come where? The island. You'll be healed there too. Healed? Well, that would be nice, I'm sure. It will be. You're thinking too much. Sometimes it's better just to trust your feelings. I'm trying, but I... I get stuck in the logic of it. Substances obey natural law. The macula does too. You don't need logic, Lucas. You just need to be human. Maybe... <sighs> I'm just not very good at being human. You are. This is why you have doubts. Today must have woken it. We had six months of respite after he passed the second threshold. But the balance of his blood is very delicate. Amicia, go with Lucas. Magister Vaudan is somewhere in this town. Find him and tell him to come quickly. Right away. Amicia. I know. We'll be careful. It's because of those farmers. I should never. Oh. It's not your fault. How can you be so sure? You can't control what happens in his blood. The macula keeps evolving, pushing the carrier through different thresholds. Will this Magister Vodan really help? The Order has been studying the macula for centuries. If they can't, I don't know who can. Lord, protect him. Why hasn't Vodan shown up already? I think he's just being discreet. The order works like this. Someone must know about him. Let's ask around. Here, a town guard. I'll ask him. Uh, hello? Excuse me. Would you know the whereabouts of Magister Vodan? Uh, I've heard of a Sir Vodan, not a Magister. Try the marketplace. There's a couple of florists there. I think they deal with him from time to time. Thank you. Good. That's a start. I should have known. Of course he doesn't go by his order's title publicly. We came by the florist earlier. It's somewhere around this marketplace. Hello again. Oh, it's you. Looking for flowers for the little one? Actually, I'm looking for Sovoda. I believe he's one of your clients. He's my husband's client. He's the one who deals in medicinal herbs. Oh. But Morton should be right by the fountain. Just tell him I sent you. He's wearing a brown tunic. Brown tunic. Thank you for your help. Let's hope he tells us. He will. Excuse me, sir. Your wife sent us? Now, what does she want now? I'm busy cleaning this mess. It's not for her. We must find Sir Voda. Him? But he doesn't like to be bothered. Just like me. Listen, my brother is very sick. We need him immediately. Oh, all right, all right. I don't know precisely where, but I think he lives close to the arena, down there. Don't tell him I sent you. Don't worry. Thank you. Right, let's not waste time. The arena district. 
That's a lot of houses. How are we going to find him? There's mischief in the air. I can feel it. Yes. That's why I keep the children. It's a slum. The order's not poor, so what would a magister be doing here? Probably hiding? Probably. Amicia, that symbol on the wall. The order? Yes. He's in here. No one gets in. The arena is off limits. Why is that? Because the Count of Provence said so. Get going, please. Listen, I really need to pass. It's all right. Come. We'll go around the arena. <sighs> Now's not the time to argue with soldiers. Let's look around. You're right. Sorry. There's a door up there. Yes. So... Ready to break the law? Come on. <clears throat> Is it? The bite, yes. They've knocked the arena down. They let them die here. It's starting all over again. Not starting. Spreading. Hugo. We brought it here. Let's find Magister Voda. If he's not dead already. I can't believe they left him to rot here. These people look poor. They must be from the slum outside. How come nobody noticed their disappearance? Maybe nobody cares. Maybe. Here, another symbol. Well, let's get in then. You think the symbols will lead to him? Yes. Look, an opening up there. There must be a way to climb up. This could help. I'll give you a hand. If Odan's here, he's in trouble. He knows the bite. He must be avoiding the sick. Lucas. If all these people here were bitten, it means... <gasps> Maybe not. A sick person could have bought it inside the city. making so much noise.
fucked. Oh, just our luck. Well, if he's here, he didn't make much effort trying to cure these people. Look at that. They're poorer than us. Not a coin. And stop looting and look for this bloody alchemist. Ah, oh, someone will find him. Inside. Let's find something to get up there. Oh, quick! Oh no! Don't There's some them. sort of. We must get out of here. Oh, that cage up there looks the right size. Ugh. It's full of bodies. Oh, don't look at them. It's a massacre. We brought it here. We condemned them. It's still going on in Guyenne. It's already spreading. Yes, but they would have seen it coming. It wouldn't have changed a thing. Let's go, quick. There's so many dead already. Like it's one step ahead of us. Yes. But none of them look devoured. Look, I think they were keeping count of the dead. They left a knife. It's stuck. Come on. No. Well, let's keep going. Through there. You don't use blades against people. I did. I had no choice. A blade is silent and quick. It's what we need now. All right. It's up to you. <laughs> Look over there. Another symbol. Good. Because if these people fell ill, it means some must have been bitten. I've seen no signs of attack. Keep your eyes open. 
Or you'll be explaining to Arno why we're empty-handed when he arrives. We're looking for a damn alchemist. We find a musk grave. It's fine. Let's just stay here waiting for death. Soldiers, that I can do. But this, no. you can't fight a plague like this. It was all wrong, again.
my life on it. Hey, are you asleep? What the hell happened to you? All the bloody scum that keeps getting in our way. Chaos rules our lives. They're part of it. And you're getting better at handling them. I see it. You were pretty discreet back there. Well, better to let live. And not risk dying myself. Ugh. You smell that? Dead bodies. What is this place? A hospital. I think they used to live here. No wonder they all fell ill. I can't get used to it. You don't have to. won't be easy or quick. It's the order. A high magister would just live in a high tower, no? <sighs> Let's just get there. <gasps> you sure about this? Well, it's the only way. Just be careful. We must! Let's go carefully! I knew it! 
I told you they were here. There are millions of them. How? How can there be so many already? Hugo, they're here for him. Hugo and leave. My materials. I lost all of it in the fall. We'll do without. Yes. Please don't drop that torch. I think we can climb that wall, but I'll need my hands free. No choice. I can't believe you're leaving the torch <laughs> Nasty filth! What do we do? Let's use a stick. It'll burn fast. We'll keep a straight line. Yes, very straight. Lucas, when night comes... Yes, nothing will stop me from getting out. Ah! get to higher ground. Fire's doing all right. For now. For now. <sighs> Good. One brazier at a time. We can make it. We're making it. There's a ladder. <sighs> the light doesn't reach the ladder. The lock on that chain looks weak. I see it. Yes, well done. Let's go, quick. Higher ground. That's better. I need to take a breath. Breathe fast. I don't know how long it's going to last. Really? A beam? It's the only way. Right. Steady. Wow. All right. Just don't rush. Ah! Lucas! I knew it. Are you all right? No. I'm surrounded. The ladder. Get to high ground. Quick. Yes. Of course it had to happen to me. Closer to sunlight. Maybe we'll get out closer to that tower. I can't wait to hear Magister Vodan's plan about this. It better be a damn good plan. It will be. Oh no! We're going down again? We are. It's a joke. No. And Hugo's condition gets worse with every second we spend here. 
Your mother is with him. He should be fine. No rats? No, but they were here not long ago. Look at these bodies. Fresh. They're close. Careful. Oh, what is that? Rails in the walls. It looks like an elevator. It could be a way out. Lucas, what is that thing? I read about this. It's an elephant. From Africa, R Romans used them during circus games. It's enormous. Look at its teeth. This is surreal. Yes. There's enough bones around. Let's get out of here. That smell. I know it. It's sulfur. It's a smithy, a crank. Let's see what it does. I'm going to need you. Sure. <laughs> wow. Do you hear that? No. How many there are? We're stuck, Lucas! No, no. Look at the platform. The brazier. It looks big enough to light the whole room. How do we set it on fire?